you know, one of the reasons I like this current me uh, game so much is that the activities or what the actions that you do on the slide are really matched and aligned to what you would do in the real world for kerning, right? So you would drag the letters, whether you're using your keyboard, your bracket keys, um, you're just aligning the spacing, the horizontal spacing. Then you can view your uh, your solution against an expert's recommended solution and just see yours, toggle, and see both. And then, of course, you continue. Something like this is really simple to build in Storyline. So here's the starting, um, really the starting slide, and that is we've, we've obviously didn't show the uh, the final solution. The learner can drag the letters back and forth and position them. Now, one thing you'll probably notice is that uh, we don't have the horizontal uh, constraint right now, right? So we can drag it up or down. And that's really okay because what we're trying to do is just see if we can identify the proper spacing of the letters and how close we can get to that. And then obviously provide some feedback both from uh, what we did and then as well as what maybe an expert came up with. So I'll just move that over so you can see more of it. And the solution, go back to what you did and, the, and then your version as well as both. So let me show you how this is set up. Real simple, uh, working really with a free form uh, drag and drop and then just toggling some, some objects on and off. So let me turn these off. So here's the, the solution, right? So this is the perfectly kerned or the recommended uh, uh, kerning for this font and these letters. By default, we want to set it to hidden. So hidden just means that it doesn't appear when the slide first opens. So just change it to hidden. We get it grayed out to show that it's there, but it's not, uh, won't be visible until we trigger it to be visible. And the rest of the letters, each of these letters is a uh, its own letter, and we just kind of move them in place. We don't want to... Uh, give them the proper solution, so we kind of give some extra space in between them. And really, at this point, everything else we're doing with these buttons right here, let me just bring it up, is turning the visibility on and off. So in this case, right, for both, if we want to show uh, both of them, we're going to turn uh, the, the, each of the letters right here, in this case it's the W, to normal, or we could just hide it. And that's all we're doing is just triggering that on-off uh, visibility for each of the letters, either the individual letters or the solution. So uh, we'll go ahead and make this available in the forums. And if, of course, if you have any ideas for ways to uh, modify or improve it, certainly add those to the comments. But just another way to uh, really look at maybe other activities or interactions that were built in other tools and find uh, really creative ways for achieving uh, the, the really the objective of that activity in uh, Storyline.